At the 17th International Defense Industry Fair, IDEF 2025, in Istanbul, Turkish defense giant Roketsan pulled the curtain back on its cutting-edge long-range air-to-air missile, Gakbora. This next-generation weapon is equipped with a solid-fuel ramjet engine and engineered to be housed internally within Turkey as indigenous Khan stealth fighter and the Barakter Kizilelma unmanned combat aircraft, marking a major leap in the nation's aerospace arsenal. What sets Gakbora apart is its continuous thrust ramjet propulsion, which provides it with enhanced speed retention during its final flight phase. This not only extends the missile's maximum reach, well over 185 kilometers, but also enlarges the kill zone in which targets have no chance of escape. While Turkish defense analysts compare its concept to the Anglo-French meteor missile, Gakbora reportedly surpasses it in both range and endgame energy. Unlike its predecessor, the externally mounted Gokan, Gakbora is fully compatible with internal weapons bays, an essential feature for maintaining low radar visibility on stealth platforms. This makes it Turkey's first air-to-air -air missile of this type using a compact solid-fuel ramjet suitable for hidden integration. Physically, Gakbora measures 3.75 meters in length and 180 millimeters in diameter. Its propulsion system operates by compressing air through high-speed intake, mixing it with solid fuel inside the combustion chamber, and generating thrust without moving parts. This simplicity improves reliability and makes it lighter and more space-efficient than turbojet alternatives. Guidance comes in multiple layers, inertial navigation handles mid-flight positioning, supported by data link updates. As it closes in on its target, an advanced AESA radar seeker takes over, ensuring high-precision terminal engagement. Its fragmentation warhead is capable of striking a wide range of aerial threats, everything from fighter jets and UAVs to AEWNC platforms, tankers, cargo aircraft, and even cruise missiles. Ramjets function best at speeds between Mach 2 and Mach 4 and require the launch platform to reach a baseline speed of roughly 485 km per hour. The Gokbora's variant uses solid fuel cast along the inner chamber walls, igniting upon contact with superheated air. The resulting gases are expelled through a nozzle to maintain sustained acceleration. The concept of ramjet propulsion dates back more than a century. In 1913, French innovator René Laurent filed the first patent for a forward-motion air-breathing engine. Just two years later, Hungarian engineer Albert Fono proposed a ramjet-powered artillery shell. The 20th century saw widespread experimentation, the Soviets pioneered early test flights, Germany and Japan explored wartime applications, and the US rolled out advanced Cold War systems like the CIM-10 Bomark. The UK also embraced ramjet designs for the Bloodhound and Sea Dart missile programs. In later decades, ramjets became central to hypersonic research and high-altitude reconnaissance missions, culminating in projects like Project Pluto and the recent Thoriar trials. Compared to conventional rocket-powered air-to-air weapons, which lose momentum after the boost phase, solid-fuel ramjet missiles like Gakbora sustain thrust throughout the entire trajectory. This constant propulsion gives them better maneuverability, longer effective range, and higher probability of hitting evading targets. Moreover, solid fuel stability reduces logistical challenges, making it safer to store and easier to deploy. The missile was revealed as part of a broader Roketsan showcase that included five other high-profile weapons. These included the Akata submarine-launched version of the Atmica cruise missile, the Taifun block for hypersonic ballistic missile, the Aran high-speed loitering munition, the 300ER air-launched ballistic missile, and the Shimshek-2 orbital launch vehicle. The Akata extends Turkey as anti-ship strike options by giving submarines long-range launch capability. Tayfun Block 4, weighing over 7 tons, is designed to take out hardened targets like command bunkers and missile batteries. Aran offers long-endurance autonomous strike capability and is deployable from air, sea, or land platforms. The 300ER is optimized for deep precision strikes beyond 500 km, while the Shimshek 2 can deliver a 1,500 kg payload into sun-synchronous orbit, reaching over 700 km in altitude. According to Roketsan CEO Murad Akinsi, IDEF 2025 featured over 60 showcased systems, from smart munitions to advanced naval missiles.
He highlighted that Gokbora is uniquely tailored to meet the demanding requirements of Turkey as future air dominance platforms. With superior range, internal integration, and continuous thrust performance, Gokbora stands at the forefront of Turkey's strategy to build a more autonomous and capable defense ecosystem. Senior Turkish officials emphasize that these systems are not just technical milestones, they are strategic tools aligned with national goals of technological independence and regional deterrence. Delegations from across the globe had an opportunity to examine these systems firsthand, signaling Turkey's expanding influence in the global defense arena.